how to build AI agents with Llama 3 and Grok API. That's today's video. Let's dive into it. All right, so this is the Crew AI's GitHub repo. We're going to scroll down to the getting started section and copy this code to build our Llama 3 agents. Go ahead and do pip install Crew AI. So whilst it's installing Grok, and we will use the inference engine that produces extremely fast token generation. After you create your account, you will see this page. Click API keys, create API key. Let's call this project Llama 3 Agents. Click Submit. Copy this API key. Crew AI has finished installing. Let's go ahead and populate these three environment variables. For API base, we're going to go back to Grok's console. Look at the documentation. Click on OpenAI compatibility and at the bottom, we will copy this base URL for the OpenAI base. For the model name, head back to Grok, click on models here and we are going to use the 70 billion parameter model. Paste in here and the API key, since it's a secret key, I'm going to put it in a .env file. We write export grok API key equal the key you just created from here. Okay. Remember to do source.env. This will export the environment variable so that we can use it in the script. To use it in the script, we're going to do os.mfiron.get grok API key. Now that we have the environment variable set up, let's go ahead and define the tasks and assign it to an agent. Here, we created a class called tasks, and in the init function, we have three attributes. For the comment, this can be a user comment, for example, about your service or about your product. So to define these two tasks, I have made separate methods. First one is to classify user comments. Here we provide a description and taking the user comment as an input. Next, we define which agent we will assign this task to. For this task, we will assign the classifier agent. Lastly, we need to specify the expected output. We expect one of these three options. Is the comment positive, neutral, or negative? For the next task, we have respond to the user comment. The agent we will use for this task is the responder agent. We want a concise, simple, and empathetic response to the user comment based on the sentiment provided by the classifier agent. We actually now have to create the agents. In this class, we have the attribute self.agents, which stores the list of agents to perform our task. As we alluded to just now, we have a classifier agent to classify user comments and we have a responder agent to respond to the user comments. So for the classifier agent, we need to provide the role, a comment classifier. The goal of this agent is to accurately classify comments based on the context. And we also need to provide a backstory. For verbals, we defined previously to be true and allow delegation equal to false because we want only this agent to perform this task. Next, we need the responder agent. The role of this agent is comment responder. The goal, based on the sentiment of the comment, we want to write a concise, simple, and empathetic response, and etc. Right? So here we provide how are we going to do the response. Similarly to before, verbos is true and allow delegation again is false. In this assemble crew function, we instantiate this crew class, which takes the list of agents and the list of tasks we will use for equals equals two and process we want process.sequential, which means perform one task after the other. Finally, let's create a main function to wrap everything together. First, we instantiate the tasks Next, we assemble the crew with the tasks and the agents. Finally, kick off a crew to start doing the task. All right, now that we have everything wrapped up and ready to go, let's look at an example. The comment will be, the app keeps lagging and I went to the counter three times to try to redeem a gift which I qualify for, but still fail. Okay, let's see how our agents will classify and respond. So you can see now, we have the response. I was less than 
probably 10 seconds. So let's quickly look at the response that it gave us. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. You're experiencing lagging issues with our app and that you had trouble redeeming your gift. That must have been frustrating. Thank you for taking the time to share your experience with us. I'll make sure to pass on your feedback to our team so we can work on improving our app's performance and the redeem process. That's a great response. Let's quickly see the different stages of this crew. So it started with the working agent being the comment classifier. So this is just the prompt for the first agent. Final answer for the comment classifier is negative, which is correct. That's great. We go on to the comment response. This task is to respond to the user comment. And the answer is, as we previously read, great. So that's an example of using Llama 3 with Grok, applying it to the use case of classifying and responding to user comments. 